Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you one of my favorite weeknight meals. It is inexpensive, it is quick, it is easy, and it's guaranteed to be a family favorite from this point on. If you're interested in knowing how I made it, then stay tuned. So here are the items you're gonna need. You're gonna need some pasta. I'm using penne pasta. This is, it says mostaccioli, but penne pasta is what it is. You're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. You're also gonna need some butter, not margarine or vegetable spread, just some butter. You're gonna need some garlic, depending on your liking, and some shredded Parmesan cheese. I only have a little bit left, but we're gonna make it stretch. You're also gonna need some salt. I like to use kosher salt because it adds a lot um, more flavor than table salt. And some pepper. I have some fresh ground black pepper in this little doohickey here and um, that's what I use and then I'm going to use my finishing salt It's garlic and parsley handmade finishing salts I'll put a tutorial in the description box if you want to know how to make your own it's very tasty and it's strong in flavor last but not least you're going to need a rotisserie chicken I get mine from our local grocer it's already done you just grab it and go this accounts for 50 percent of your meal and that's why it's easy and inexpensive because it's about six bucks you want to start out with some boiling water and add some kosher salt to your water for flavoring and cook your pasta al dente according to the box instructions while that's boiling, you want to go ahead and chop up your garlic into uh, minced or minced your garlic, I should say, um, as many as you'd like. Like I said, you can see I have about six cloves over here, so we love the garlic flavor. So go ahead and mince that up. After you're done chopping your garlic, go ahead and set that aside for a quick second and get your rotisserie chicken out. All you have to do to this rotisserie is take off those bands and chop it. You can dice it, you can cube it, you can slice it. Whatever way you want to prepare your family's meal, that's how you want to do it. But you want to get off all the meat off these bones and slice it. And if you want to keep the skin, keep the skin. If not, take it off. So you want to grab yourself a skillet and put it on the stove. Add your butter um, because we're going to get that garlic sauteing to bring out a lot of those garlic flavors. I'm going to put all the measurements down below because I have to really think about them because I just do you know old school cooking you just kind of do it and taste it and then it's go so i will get the measurements for you guys but you want to saute that garlic um for a few minutes just until it starts to break up and get all the flavoring in that butter once you get that garlic all sauteed and the house smells lovely you want to grab your whipping cream and start to add that to the butter and garlic mixture and you don't want to burn the little bits, so you keep stirring it and make sure that it stays on top of the whipping cream. To this, you also want to add a little bit of your seasonings. So you want to add your finishing salts, if you're going to use those, your garlic salt or um, pepper, whatever your seasonings are, here's where you want to add them. In this mixture, I put my finishing salts with the parsley flakes in it and the fresh ground black pepper that's all that i added the butter and the garlic with these two seasonings do the rest it's very easy and effortless go ahead and give that a quick mix to incorporate everything and bring it to a light boil and let it sit and simmer for a few minutes After you've let your cream sauce sit for a little bit, you want to go ahead and give it another stir before adding your Parmesan cheese. You want to add this towards the end, right before you're starting to add your pasta, which should already be done by now. All right, you can start adding the pasta to your dish. Now, some people like to add their chicken in when they're adding the pasta at the same time. Some people like to cook the pasta and then top with the chicken. The choice is totally up to you. In my house, we like to cook the pasta um, in with the sauce and then add the chicken on top and then lightly brush it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese at the end. So the choice is totally up to yours. But as you can see, this was a very quick and easy meal, very inexpensive, under $10. You can feed a family of four. 
A quick side note, if you're not able to get a rotisserie chicken, you can always use boneless chicken. Just sear it, slice it, and add it to the top. Still inexpensive for a family pack of boneless chicken. Cost you around five, six dollars as well. So let me show you what it looks like when it's all plated. And this is what it looks like. It is so yummy. This homemade sauce has so much love into it. I added a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some diced tomatoes to it, and some parsley just to top it off. Look how juicy that looks. Anyway, family favorite, super easy, inexpensive. I can't stress that enough. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will talk to you soon. Bye.